What is up y'all and welcome back to another video here on the channel. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about some pretty crazy shit, some pretty scary shit that took place recently with a Twitch streamer by the name of Matt Dammit. So if you guys aren't familiar with him, from what I understand, he's a League of Legends streamer on Twitch and he had quite the event happen during one of his live streams. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. Like, honestly, guys, like, buckle up, buckaroos, because this is going to be some of the most yee America, fuck yeah, kind of things we're talking about here in this video. So, essentially, his, um, his house got broken into. And like I said, let's hop into the story. The article starts by saying, Twitch streamer Matt Dammit was minding his own business playing League of Legends when an intruder broke into his home live on stream. And rather than seizing up, he seemingly opened fire. He heard something strange in his house while he was hitting a creep in the jungle. The moment he realized it was a break-in, his fight-or-flight instincts took over. He stood up and approached the intruder off-camera. At first, a chilling silence swept across the Twitch stream. Other than a loud thud or two and what sounded like Matt Dammit yelling someone to get the fuck out of here, you couldn't hear a pin drop for about a minute. Then all hell broke loose with it sounding like he fired multiple gunshots. Matt Dammit didn't return to the stream. The broadcast remained active for about 90 minutes before it ended, but he all but confirmed there was an incident that happened and that he was safe on social media. Because, I mean, really think about it, you know, like when we think of like big Twitch streamers, you know, Matt Dammit isn't the first guy that comes to our mind, you know, kind of a smaller streamer. And, you know, that's no disrespect or hate on him, but it's just like this really could happen to anyone. And honestly, just glad dude's OK. You know, I'm glad that he, you know, had the facilities to defend himself, the ability to stay cool, calm and collected and, you know, take care of business. You know what I'm saying? Glad he's OK. But really, this could just happen to anyone, honestly. And from what I understand with the situation, too, that's kind of fucked up is I guess his like teammates in the game were like, I guess, reporting him like spam reporting him for being AFK. Like, I don't know if that's like what caused people to roll up on him. I really fucking hope these people didn't roll up on him just because he was AFK in a game. Uh, I may be misunderstanding the situation. So it's either that or like they reported him for being AFK because he was away from his game for like 90 minutes. But it's like dude's defending his life. You know, there's there's things that are more important than a game of League of Legends, um, believe it or not. And I just don't understand like that that gamer mentality. You know, maybe that's why I'm not one of the biggest streamers on the planet is because I don't have that dog in me, so to speak. But these motherfuckers are spamming him because he's away from his game. Like there are things more important than video games, competitive video games. And these dudes are like spamming him with with reports for being away from his game. And I just think that's so silly. Like, let's take like when I'm playing like competitive Rocket League or something, you know, I, I don't take games very seriously anymore. You know, I feel like I'm a 24 year old ass grown man. I don't take games super seriously anymore. But, you know, when I was a kid, even when I was in that like that prime of my youth, you know, I wasn't reporting people for being away from the game. Like, I'd be kind of annoyed, like, bro, like, what, what are you doing? Like, sitting still or whatever. But I wouldn't take it as far to, like, report people. So I think it's just so crazy. Like, I wonder what these people would think, like, if they were sending all these reports and then they were to come out and find out that, oh, the reason he wasn't playing is because he was in a shootout with a with a burglar. Like, that's just so crazy. I guess you never know the, uh, the full story, right? So, and a side note as well, I just want to say that, like, the aftermath of this is just truly incredible because like i would be really shaken up if something like this happened to me and fucking matt damn it he comes out on twitter and he's like man the devil really do be coming for you when things start going great fuck him though he said and like to me that is just so badass like dude, dude is like the epitome of like badassery because like like i said i'd be pretty fucked up in the crib you know i'd be shaking crying vomiting pissing and this dude just came out and he's like you know what i'm gonna tell all my social media followers to fuck them like that that to me is just so admirable like that's so crazy but aside from all of that that's not even the wildest development regarding this story so there's some people that have come out a lot of skepticism on the internet there's a lot of people that believe that this is not a real thing like it didn't actually happen some are even going as far to say that it's like a publicity stunt to bring in some more clicks bring in some more views and that you know this shootout didn't happen basically they're saying it was staged and like it's just so it's so wild that like people will honestly have that mentality actually think that because you know let's let's think about the facts here for a second 
You know, you can't exactly like, even if you're a homeowner and you have a gun, you can't exactly just be going firing off warning shots just for the hell of it. There, like there are legal repercussions. And so like, why would he stage this for a couple clicks? It's like a couple more clicks. Like again, like I get he's a small streamer, but a couple more clicks, you know, aren't going to do you a whole lot if you're rotting in a prison cell. I just don't think that you know, I, I think he's a smart enough guy to kind of weigh the pros and the cons. Like, oh, you know, a couple extra YouTube clicks, all oh, rotting in fucking prison. Like, I think most sane people would rather have a little bit less clicks if it meant they didn't have to go to prison. Because like I said, there are legal repercussions with this. If you just go firing off rounds in your house mindlessly, you are going to get into trouble with the law. And so th this honestly, you know, I'm pretty confident in saying that this legitimately happened. You know, th it's just weird how people don't really think logically and just make all these assumptions. I'm just really glad, though, that this guy's OK. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, though, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like rating, subscribe to the channel for more commentaries just like this. And this is Run Turn. We'll catch you on the next one later.